What is up, MFers? It's an exciting day today. A lot of you guys watched the video where I had the issues with the old Camus, and then I got the old Triton, and she's rigged up, and uh, she's unrigged, I should say, over there, because uh, I picked up the special new 2024 boat that I'm going to reveal in just a second. It's hooked up to the truck right back behind us in the garage. I haven't even taken a look at the inside yet. It's still got the factory cover on it. Woo! Thing looks freaking mean on the outside though. I cannot wait to show you guys that. Just kind of going through some of this stuff right now. Wanted to thank all of you guys who went out and picked up these hangovers. Um, I don't even know what else to say. You guys blew us away with how many of those things you purchased and just the great feedback from all of you. There's already been, I don't know, 20, 30 people that have reached out to me catching fish on them that I think went to the dealer or a lot of people said they got them shipped like overnight, which is awesome. And they're catching, I don't think anybody's caught a double digit on it yet, but there's been a ton of like five to eight pounders caught on it. Absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm kind of going through some of my colors that I picked out here because I need to get them organized and on the shelf. Uh, Live Shad, of course, had to get that color. I want to let you guys know, the, the, these live colors are sold out. We're doing everything we can to get them back in, in stock. We got them ordered. They're, everything just takes a while to, know, to get made and in stock and everything. We only had, you know, 40,000 of them. Sorry, guys. But there is still a ton of great colors on the site. I think this was one that um, sold out as well. <laughs> it lasts a little bit longer. It's called Smoke 6. I had to get a bunch of these production run ones because as you guys know I didn't have that many uh, of the final version in the boat for a while that's another awesome one Clearwater Shad it just sold out the other day as well after my post on the Instagram but um yeah I didn't have that many either so now I finally do and this might look like a lot of baits because it is but I'm probably not going to get any more for a very long time so I want to make sure I was stocked up ready for the Elite Series season that's the old color me and Zark did all the damage with. And um, I wanted to tell you guys again, when you get this bait, I strongly recommend, if you didn't watch the release video, I'm not just trying to get like easy views and clicks and stuff, go back and watch the pool demonstration I did at the end of the video to kind of get an idea. When you're swimming the bait in the water, it looks a little funky if you're pulling it a little bit too slow. So I think people will get this bait when they just saw it drop because you guys were so excited for it. They'll go out and they'll slowly swim it next to them next in, in the lake or whatever, and they'll be disappointed. But um, they won't be disappointed when they, they pull at the right speed because that thing will get slurped up. I got so much tackle to get organized. I got to get this shit together, get it all in the new boat. Should we show them the new boat, Cole? Yep. Let's freaking do it. A lot of you guys also watch the, uh, the corporate douche video, as many of you told me. Um, and so you probably get the idea that I'm not going to go out and pick up a big conglomerate's uh, boat and when I was picking a boat for the Elite Series this season, obviously extremely important to me to have is what I thought was the best boat possible. And I could have gotten any of the boats that are on the market. And there was a few brands that I wanted to take a look at, brands that I had been in before um, that make great boats. It's not like this is the only good boat on the market. Pretty much every new boat is, is pretty extremely nice these days. They should be for the price tag. But um, there was a you know, two or three brands that I really wanted to look at because they fit how I like to fish extremely well, but they were, you know, more of a custom built boat because as we've gotten now into this, like what that video was about, the post COVID type stuff, the assembly line style boats have gotten worse and worse quality. And so I had no interest in, in getting one of those. And of the companies that I reached out to, this company blew me away with the people at the top not just like customer service, but how transparent they were with everything. They wanted to work with me and we're trying to make it work as well. And it just, it, it was a perfect fit. It's a partnership that I think is gonna last a long time that I'm very excited for. I've been jumping around from boat to boat because some things kind of got funky with everything with the, the boat dealership closing. But this is a brand of boat that I've had my eye on my entire fishing career and I've never run before. So I'm gonna do like a college, High school reveal of which team I picked. I need different hats, Cole. To put on the table. You should. They don't even do that. Did anymore. they send you one? Dude, this is my hype video. We should have got a smoke machine. Damn it.
Right quick before we jump in the video, I wanna let you know it is sponsored by the Upside app. Guys, every single year, we start telling ourselves we're gonna start saving more money, we're gonna spend less money, but how are you supposed to do that with all this crazy inflation on daily essentials like gas and groceries? Well, I don't gotta worry about that now because my 2023 money back hack is the Upside app. Upside is an incredible app for anyone that buys gas, groceries, or dines out. That sounds like you probably, right? Well, with Upside, I get cash back on every purchase. It's my secret weapon to go save some money and keep track with my savings on the road. To get started, all you have to do is download the free Upside app, use my promo code Millican, and get an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Just go ahead and pay as usual with that credit or debit card. Follow the steps in the app and get paid. In comparison to credit card rewards programs with Upside, you get about three times more cash back for your purchase. You can cash out anytime you want directly to your bank account. You can directly deposit to PayPal. You can even get an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. Plus, Upside's not gonna sell your information. You're not gonna have to worry about that. It's safe and secure. It's no wonder why they have such a high rating in the App Store. So once again, to get started, just download that free Upside app, use my promo code Melican, and get an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas. Here it is, my beautiful new unmarked boat. Dude, I probably should have taken some of these off, but I literally picked it up. It came in from the factory yesterday. Here it is, right there, Cole. Feel the rush. That's right, folks. 2024 Bass Cat Puma STS. I cannot wait to show you guys this because uh, I haven't taken the factory cover off it yet either. I picked it up yesterday and uh, kind of want it to be like a little bit of a surprise while well, we took everything apart and showed it to you because the inside of this thing is totally badass how we ordered it. It's a new way that they're uh, creating some of these Bass Cats, but yeah guys, Bass Cat has been a boat that I have wanted for a long time. I fished out of a lot of them. In the past, they kind of had a reputation for being like a super, you know, fast, well-performing boat, top end speed, but they were narrower, the storage wasn't great, and they weren't great in rough water. Well, this Puma STS series, it's a whole design that is actually designed by Rick Pierce. So the STS stands for soft touch series, and that is because this thing is made wider. It's made to handle in rough water. It's like one of the best performing riding boats that's ever been created, period. So huge thank you. When I talked about people at the top, uh, Rick Pierce was huge in orchestrating this. Um, we've had several great conversations, very straightforward. And Kenny over at Bass Cat, absolutely awesome. Ed Whaley, the rep in all of Texas and, and our region, he actually drove out to pick this up with me yesterday and walk through the boat with me, the exterior stuff, talk to me about it, make sure everything was right over at Bowden Marine. And as he informed me, Bowden Marine um, here 25 minutes from my house, is absolutely awesome at everything that has to do with the mechanical side of the boat. So they had it all ready to freaking go. They did a couple little minor things to make sure everything was perfect. And here it is, uh, my beautiful, I don't even know what the color scheme is. It's like, it's a, it's kind of like a flaky, sparkly black. We'll give you guys some looks at that once we take this off. But as you know, um, got the, got the wrap, required wrap by BASS coming on um, the gentlemen are coming down at the end of the month here in January to put that on with all you members faces on it I'm freaking excited for that but yeah without further ado let's freaking unwrap this thing oh Cole I didn't even talk about this yet this is my first ever time running one of these bad boys on a Yamaha this year Mercury makes good engines and it was something where I was like I love the way Mercury's run and look and sound but I've had a ton of issues with lower units going out um, I'm kind of pissed off honestly about them not fixing some obvious design flaws that everyone has issues with, with the trim situation, with the shift actuator, um, just shit that shouldn't be going out, um, especially the lower units that were just randomly going out and blowing up. Three of them were right over there in the back of my garage. Um, two of those <laughs> were their fault, one of them was mine. <laughs> but um, I'm excited, I've heard only good things about the Yamaha, um, the SHO, 
the, the four stroke here because there only is four strokes now in 2023, 2024. Um, Zark has one. That was probably my biggest inspiration was Zark got one on his new boat. So I had to be cool like him. I'm sure that's what he'll tell you every time that we fish together anyways. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this uh, VMAX performs. I've heard it. Excellent things. Literally know nothing about them and haven't run them yet. So what could go wrong, right? Most of you guys have probably seen covers over the years that are you know they match the boat and they're black i was like just give me a white plastic one this year i want to stand out from the crowd another thing is you guys might notice no poles this year i decided you know i don't want to be able to have anything to slow me down full speed ahead we don't need to anchor for nothing i don't want to be slowed down an extra half mile an hour by putting some stupid poles no i'm just kidding we're putting that stuff on here in a little bit um we're going to take it to go get rigged at uh, Mealy Marine a little bit later. Can't wait for that. That's going to be the super fun part of this whole thing. To make this boat absolutely my own and perfect and beautiful and awesome. I think it's pretty beautiful on its own. Though. Doesn't that look awesome? Looks so good. Man. That's like... That is sharp. I haven't even gotten in there yet. And I don't even want to touch it. The most perfect boat I've seen. Yeah. Just from looking at it. I don't think we should even get in it. Let's just, I'll load my tackle in it and you can just, we'll dump it off the trailer at the first Elite Series tournament and be like, I'm just going to let it bob around. We'll see what happens. Maybe we can win some events like that. Who knows? So speaking of the Elite Series, a lot of you guys have seen the schedule. You might notice we are going back to Toledo Bend. We're going back to Wheeler Lake. We're going back to the St. Lawrence River. Um, is that all? And we are going back to the Harris chain. And I decided since I've been to four of the nine fisheries, I remember uh, in my head most of the places to go. So I decided I'm not going to put any graphs on this year. We're doing no electronics back there, no electronics up front. We're just going to fish like fishing was intended to be. Now, nah, I'm just kidding about that too, guys. Uh, once again, we're getting those put on with some pretty crazy stuff at Amelia Marine with a new electronics sponsor as well. Oh, my. Let's talk about this boat though, Cole. I mean, looking at this boat, it's such a unique layout. They try to make things a little bit different at Bass Cat, um, which I, I love. I love, you know, trying to make something a little bit more of a custom boat. These are handmade boats. These are not like the, the assembly line, make them as quick as you can. And one feature that I freaking love is that this got this type of proprietary material. It's not, um, it's not, sea deck it's, it's their own that they make in-house they say it holds up a lot better but it is only in the middle of all the compartments as you guys know i hate carpet for so many reasons in a boat it absorbs water hooks catch it it absorbs water <laughs> it just all your shit gets wet it gets worn out like there's there's no reason for carpet in a boat ever but um i think they they still have not uh you have to cut the compartments a lot different um, if you're not going to have all sea deck because there's like a quarter inch gap on the side of all the compartments that's made for the carpet. But regardless, I am so pumped to have sea deck or this, this, regardless, I am so pumped to have this material in the boat. I got to show you guys the layout and everything of this. It's a very unique layout in these bass caps. So first off, oh my God, Cole, I'm already getting it dirty. What am I doing? That makes me want to cry. <laughs> but uh, I got the Puma STS. I know I was talking about with the soft touch series, but it's a wider hole. It's, um, it's shaped a lot like my last few Camuses have been um, width-wise. I think it's actually the same beam width, if I'm not mistaken, as the CX-21. And um, the performance uh, is phenomenal. I'll, I'll be straightforward with you. I never got my Camus to perform like I wanted it to. With waiting and everything, I think a lot of that was because the gas tanks were so far forward and we got lithium batteries these days. And of course I have a tackle store in the front of my boat. Um, but I know from talking to a lot of people that also carry a lot of tackle, also have lithium batteries. This is one of the fastest boats on the market. Um, that's not a straight up, you know, a bullet or a freaking, uh, I don't even know if they exist anymore, but ballistic. And um, yeah, just a awesome, awesome, performing boat uh but the soft touch series wider hole better riding in rough water fucking jacked dude so jacked um triangles you guys see a lot of triangles once again we just got different ways that they uh put these boats together triangle live wells never even looked in a bass cat live well before i don't think Ikes. oh yeah ikes of 
course, that's true, our spotted Jersey bass. Mm -hmm. They are super deep. I was told they were deep. Nothing too crazy with the live wells, but um, one thing Ed told me yesterday that I really like is there's two aerators, obviously one for each live well, and two bilge pumps, and everything is made to be interchangeable on these. So if both of my aerators go out for whatever reason, I can take off the bilge pump and hook the bilge pump and have it be the aerator for the day to get my, my pumps going. If my bilge pumps go out, I can be like, all right, screw these fish. I don't want to sink. I'm going to hook it up to the bilge pump. Just stuff like that you're going to see with this more of a custom boat design. Here's more triangles, a lot of triangles. This is a cool little compartment here because it's it might be small, but it actually gives you access to those pumps, like I was just telling you. Um, a lot of people also put their, their pole pumps in here. So, you know, despite me saying I wasn't gonna run any poles this year, I was obviously lying. That's probably where my pole pumps will go. I believe everything mirrors that over on that side. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, different, more custom design. Rick said that the triangle live wells are to help with uh, fish not being able to jump out as easy. So when you have them both up, you know, a lot harder for fish to jump out. And we did have fish jump out. I had to make some athletic moves in my Kobe jersey this year with some freaking escape artist fish. Um, same thing for the compartments over here. I love the back compartments and the way this is set up because it's going to go wide open and you can get into them a lot easier from the back. This was actually a huge feature that I really, really loved. It's so basic, but it's stupid. Um, two 30 gallon tanks is huge for me too. Uh, a lot of boats come with, you know, 50 is pretty standard, but some boats come with like 42 to 48. 60 is actually really, really nice. I like that. Now, one thing I don't know about it is you switch them back there. There's a switch that goes right to left. So while I have this boat, there's not going to be many instances where I'm probably going to like make more than a 30 gallon run at a time. That's probably like at four miles a gallon, that's 120 miles. So there's probably not gonna be too many times when I do that. But if that were the case, then I would have to stop when it ran out of gas and go back there and switch it to the other gas tank. So yeah, never had two gas tanks in a boat before in all the boats I've had. So you can see everything's really accessible. I like that. Looks like we got room for 27 batteries. I'm running 27 different batteries this year. I'm just kidding, but I am gonna have four, and that looks like plenty of room. It's kind of a custom built little bracket that'll probably get ripped out when we rig it. But um, plenty of room over there. I like the sides. It's kind of away from all your electronics. It's away from all the wiring and stuff. Uh, over there on the side to put tools, um, spare props, probably not gonna fit right there, um, which is fine. We got other places, some interesting storage places. And then Cole's got room for his beers back there. I don't know how those are going to do when we're going 90 down the lake. Check this out, Cole. I don't know how to get into it. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Talk about beers. No, this is awesome, though. I love under-the-seat storage. Like, so simple. My brain is so small for liking stuff like that, but I'm such an old man now. Look at that. That is just, that's not going to get wet through there. And it's got foam on this side to, to really seal it. God, I'm old. I'm old. The white uh, seats look kind of stupid in, in this boat, but, dude, it's 100 plus every day here in Texas. So I was like, Kenny, the black seats look badass. When he was sending me the sample designs, I was like, we got to do some grayish, lighter color at least. He's like, no problem. Oh, I got it. Here we go. We also got a little storage in here just for the important dry stuff there. I love the latches because these freaking things, I feel like when you put them not on a compartment and you put them on a, a, a like my Triton right now, it uh, it likes to get loose and get spinny and you got to tighten it up every so often. And this right here is a cooler. Um, I think there's, we could use that as a cooler too, but <coughs> yeah, kind of a nice little feature. Once again, this is a, a kind of a custom type latch. Look at that, Cole. It's like a rubber rubber guy. I guess people can see if I move my fat hand. Cooler. A heavy duty cooler. It is. I don't think that's going to get as, cold, as uh, melty either because it's underneath there. It's not sitting out in the sun like the other ones. Speaker system in this. They said they were going to put the head unit. Head unit must be one of the compartments, but 
I can't tell you how much I've loved that since I got my Triton back is the music in it. Um, these freaking long days out on the water idling, uh, I had my headphones in my Camus, which was probably not very safe at times. And um, yeah, it's so much easier to use the speakers. And when I'm rigging in, in the garage hours a night, awesome for that as well. Didn't talk about this, but Bass Cat Quest Tournament re Rewards, they have a great uh, program for anyone that's interested for high finishes in tournaments and stuff like that, winning tournaments. Uh, yeah, here's another cooler situation. I don't know, Cole, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to do storage with this or cooler, but it'll I think... Be, it'll be a cooler. <laughs> both of them are going to end up being a mess. I have a feeling um, with how I am. Um, here, let me move this leaf out of here. Sorry, sorry, basket. This right here, Cole, what the hell do you think this is for? A pedestal? Yeah, it's got to be, right? We got our ruler right here. We got these. Ah, uh, that's for tools. Right there. Put our little tools in there. A little bit different than what most brands have. I actually kind of like that because some of my, my bigger pliers and stuff don't fit in the uh, the little segments like they make in the pre-molded ones. Uh, tackle storage is going to be interesting in this boat. I've never used uh, a bass cat and, and seeing how all my crap will fit into it, but this is actually this is really impressive These are deeper than any boat I've ever been in for this main tackle storage compartment that I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time in and then once again We got some some different types of storage in a bass cat which I like because I Have so many different size boxes and, and types of stuff. I fish with these days um Looks like they come with some built-in tackle trays. I'll probably rip those guys out of there, or at least in one of them. Oh wow, those go way up there. And they connect. That's cool. Seems like a good way for me to lose my stuff. Yahtzee. This is an interesting little compartment right here. It's a net holding compartment in the middle, but we don't have nets in the Elite Series. So it's probably gonna end up being like a uh, life jacket, rain gear compartment. That thing goes way back too. Jeez. Interesting. These are the rod lockers. A lot of you guys have probably seen. I like my rods over here. On the left side, look at that. They even gave me some stuff. Some guys. I got a guy kit. Wow. Cover's going to come out. Um, these are the rod tubes that are in here. Um, those will get ripped out. I don't like those in boats. Um, there's some switches down there. Here's my stereo system. Ooh, a JL Audio. Look at that son bitch. Deal. I don't think I'll be listening to any of the B Max resistor let the smoke out, but that looks pretty dang nice. This is good storage up here. I should be able to get the majority of my rods, I think, over in one side, and then we'll put some tackle over on this side and you guys know all that other crap. Tackle and tackle. Yeah. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, front deck's really wide, which is tough to give it perspective, so. I'll just be a magoosh and do it myself. It's taller than me. I know most people think I'm only 5'2 on videos, but. <sighs> yep. It's a little bit taller than me right here, and it's wider a little bit down for perspective, I guess. Okay, and uh, yeah, front deck, pedestals built in. One thing you might notice is Bass Cat has these new different types of like push button latches that are like long and narrow. I decided I didn't want to mess with any of that crap potentially going out. So I got the old school round ones and they were able to have this be one of the first times they cut this c deck style material for the round latches. They did that, I think, Kind of especially for me, which is awesome. Uh, front deck here, quite simple. Trim gauges, nav lights. I think that's about it. I am nervous about um, how my graphs are going to sit up here, but I'm not super nervous. We're just going to have to figure out a way to uh, stack them up, but that's not really for me to mess with. That's for the old boys at Mealy Marine, and they are the best at it, so I have faith in them. And then you might notice we got a Minn Kota Ultrex here. Will that be staying on, or will we have a different sponsor? Find out in the next video. One thing that's nice, I was talking to Kenny um, about the rod strap situation, and I was like, dude, just don't even, 
if you could not put the straps on there, that'd be great. The, the little um, bases for them because I will probably slide them to about right there so I can fit an extra 62 rods on each side. So he didn't even put those in yet and um, didn't mount them. So they will be ready to make really wide. Some boat brands, they come molded into the deck like right there. So you can put your one flipping stick there. You guys know I don't fish like that usually. Got about a hundred rods out. And then this is kind of nice too. It's a custom molded fiberglass plate that the foot pedal for the trolling motor goes on. But you can take this part out and I think we're definitely going to, and most people probably would too, with all the electronics we put on the front of our boats these days. And um, use that space more for the electronic. All right, next thing we need to do is get everything loaded up from the poles to some of the graphs, to the mounts, to the wiring, all the shiz uh, into the back of the truck and head over to Mealy Marine and uh, talk to those guys about how we're going to rig this up. We'll leave a little bit of that to the mystery, but um, yeah, that's going to be a fun next video to see how this turns out. Seems like um, it was going to be a long way in advance, like, oh, we're going to fish out the Triton for a couple weeks while that's getting rigged. No, they want to get, they think they can rig it in like two days because they're crazy like that over there. So uh, yeah, let's head that way. You want me to put back it all the way into the building? Deal.